Okay, YouTubers. I finished uh, squaring up the floor. Now, the floor is not in. I just use the floor as to uh, square up my my skids. And I'll put the wheels on tomorrow and uh, take the floor out and show you where I'm going to go from here. But in looking at the skids, maybe you can see the profile of the skid right here. It's at an angle out. And on the other side too, it's an angle out. And that's to make up for the, uh, or get the profile of the sidewalls when I put the framing on, so it all blends in together. Uh, wish I could show you something else. Oh yeah, right here, I put two support beams on the skid to support the floor. And I put up the frame. And right now you're looking at a six by eight frame but however you want to make your crooked house or your shed, uh, you can make it a 12 by 6 or whatever, however you want to do it. A 4 by 6 or whatever, however you want to do it. You can make it bigger or smaller. And uh, right here, let me show you what I did here in the front. This is the front. And the hose I put in each one of the skids is to uh, put a pipe in there so you can grab hold to it if you want to move it from uh, place to place and uh, they all lined up and like I told you before I angled these four by fours and two by fours so it won't dig into the mud or to the landscape when you're moving your shed around Alright, that's it. Now I'll get back with you. I'll show you the wheels. So the next thing to go on. And uh, from there, i keep you up to date. Alright, you take it easy. Have a nice day. And see you around.